Hi guys, I'm here at Griffith Observatory. Let's see. Riptide. Okay. This is this is what you call what do you call this? This is some sort of a pendulum. And what it does is that this is how the earth rotates. You know? Like you understand, right? It's just rotating by itself because of the Earth's movement. And the pendulum, pendulum, how do you pronounce pendulum? Pendulum, you know, whatever, is attached to up there. So, not a clock, even though it kind of looks like a clock because of the numbers. This okay. pendulum is actually here to prove that the Earth is spinning. Oh. So, whether you believe it or not, even though you can't feel it or see it, the Earth is spinning right now. Oh, there we it's go. It's spinning at about 850 miles an hour with us on Wow. But since we can't feel it or see it, we need some way to actually prove it. No one could do that until about 160 years ago, when a French physicist named Jean-Jacques Foucault built a giant pendulum in Paris, France. When he started that pendulum moving, it began to swing back and forth. Uh-huh. But the key behind the pendulum is that it always swings back and forth in a straight line. The pendulum will never change direction. It'll never swing any direction other than this one. And it'll never move around the circle like that or like that. Wow. This pendulum can only swing straight. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that those pegs fall down, one peg falling about every six minutes. So from where we're standing, it looks like the pendulum is slowly moving clockwise around the circle, right? Like the time, huh? Yeah, it looks like that, but that's actually not what's happening. The pendulum can't move around the circle. It can only swing straight. So instead, what's happening here to make the pegs fall is that underneath the pendulum, the entire Earth is actually spinning counterclockwise like this. Because the pegs are on the Earth, the pegs are actually moving. They're moving counterclockwise. So when we put the pegs down there, they don't stay where we put them. They slowly move around the circle like this until one by one, they move enough with the earth and the pendulum pit that they fall in line with the pendulum and they get hit and fall over. So what you're actually seeing when you look down there is you're seeing the earth spinning, slowly moving those pegs into the path of the pendulum and bringing the earth rotates. So that's what we do. And in a second, they'll all fall over. So what we'll do is we'll just pick this thing up, move it over, reset it, and that'll be that.